All right. Well, we're real excited to discuss the ranking part of this situation. Um, but before we do, we want to give uh, Devontae Adams and Michael Thomas their kind of five minutes of spotlight about their situation, contracts, quarterback, any anything that kind of falls into that uh, uh, tree of, of things that, you know, could affect this this player and, uh, and, we'll, and give them a little breakdown on our thoughts on on the actual player before we uh, actually get into the rankings part of this thing. So let's start with Devonte Adams. Uh, what, what what do you what's your guys' feeling on Devonte Adams? I would say the biggest knock on this guy right off the rip is is the drops. He does have some drops from time to time. Um, the hands that would be the only knock. That's the only thing that you can even say negative at a negative about him. Out of 79 catchable balls, he's got five drops. Last year, he had nine out yeah. of 84 Aaron Rodgers catchable balls. Yeah, two in week 15. That, uh, <laughs> you Ooh, I remember those. Lost Certainly the cost me Coe a here. fantasy yeah. championship. <laughs> yeah, those were big drops. Uh, yeah. Big Co wasn't at the house that day, and I was sitting there with you watching Devontae Adams just drop two touchdowns. They were touchdowns, not touchdowns. just any regular oh, drop. Yeah. They were touchdowns. Slapped him right in the hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just uh, in case he was devastated, almost like me when you hit the gong over there. <laughs> Sometimes you got to hit the gong. <laughs> the spring on the mic support. Yeah. Devontae Adams deserves a gong hit. This guy is just <laughs> completely keeps <laughs> keeps uh, just getting, balling. getting better and better, and that's really what you're looking for, especially in your receiver, especially in dynasty fantasy football. You're looking for a guy who continues to want to achieve greatness and get better and better. And I mean, obviously, as Aaron Rodgers, which is fantastic, but you're coming off of 14 touchdowns last year. You're already in double digit, ten, uh, ten area this year, and you know these guys phenomenal in the red zone. He's first in in uh, targets in the red zone with 23. And uh, in, in red zone receptions, he's got 15. So that's what you're looking for. That's what you want. The touchdowns are, are you know, huge in the fantasy world. Right. Um, but the thing that – the fact of the matter of, of how good he is, a lot of – it's hard once the field gets condensed in that, you know, situation. It's harder to, to the red zone, right? gain, gain separation, get space, and, and, and all that and above. But this guy just seems to really excel in this area of the field. And I think it's just because of – he just seems to be a technician at, at running routes. Yeah. I mean, I was watching – we were talking about maybe breaking down the Carolina Panthers this week, so I watched the Packers-Panthers game, rewatched that, and, uh, like, basically my takeaway from trying to key in on Devontae Adams, and you can't always see the full route that he's running. Like, those those test games where they showed you the over the quarterback's uh, the, the spy cam, sky cam view, where they did a they did a few games where it was like that whole the whole game they showed you that angle. I kind of wish they just I love it do that the whole time. But as it is, you know, it's the traditional the the cameras on the ball. You don't get to really watch the routes, but you get to see the replays. And and especially on any good catch downfield, they they pretty much show you the replay. And what I come away with is that he's just he's running routes to precision. Uh, and I know Casey's got some ammo loaded up here. I would love to hear your breakdown on what you see from Devontae Adams from a route running standpoint. Uh, he just has he's got a, a full arsenal of of moves to create separation and and to use in his in his route running game. Um, he's he runs a lot of ins outs curls, which you know fairly standard routes and and slants, and then you get the occasional you know deeper route out of him but a lot of the times it's 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 a little more he's a little bit more of a possession kind of guy um he's fast enough but rogers knows where to what to do with him where to go with him and then you saw hunley you know picking him out to be his favorite target you know the other guys were you know not not seeing very much activity at all right yeah when the when aaron Rodgers went down it was like oh man i don't know if i could start any of these dudes and maybe you didn't off the rip but then exactly. after a game or two you had to get Devonte adams in your lineup that's exactly what happened on one of our teams and the the break between aaron Rodgers' collarbone this time and and the hunley inserting himself as a starter and we've mentioned that and and you know uh, his poise at the podium and how he's like, this is my team now. I'm not, I can't look over my shoulder at Aaron Rodgers. I'm going to get in there and play. And we talked about that one time, of, uh, you know, two months ago or whenever it was. Uh, that was that was a, a, st a turning point for me because, I, you know, coming into the year, I had some doubts about Devontae Adams' repeatability of the touchdowns last year. And, you know, Aaron Rodgers had another great season last year, this 2016, and just tore it up. And I had my doubts about Devontae Adams as – 
as making those plays or did Aaron Rodgers make those plays and the attention that defense had to give on give to Jordy and what you know what what happened and how was that is that repeatable and is it is it did, how much of that did, did Devontae actually take into his and you know right. put, how much of that is on Devonte? Yeah, and, and I mean, I think that was a general sentiment. I feel like in in a lot of circles of of anybody who was drafting in any any startup or or re, or um, uh, trade value or anything like that, he was he was still being you know pretty harshly disrespected. Uh, exactly. Um, yeah, just I'm, because it was a you know you did just you saw a lot of touchdowns and you know you can say touchdowns are probably Slokey. you know the flukiest Slokey. Slokey. It well, is. and, it, and it's, it, it is it's, a, it's not a, when you follow it up with another well, 10 exactly, exactly. But that's there's where, only that's where a couple I'm of, to. if you if there's only a couple of people that have been able to follow up good touchdown seasons and those are the ones that find themselves at the top of the rankings right, right. which know? is why we're here exactly so here we are right exactly so Devonte adams has has come in and tore it up again this year with aaron Rodgers. Now the sec the the, the his, Hundley looking games, at his numbers, man, it's almost arguably be arguably better with Hundley in there. Well, it was crazy, the, but that was just that's his he boy. had he had a bit he had a two touchdown game with Hundley, but you know he the consistent touchdown and high yardage are, is obviously better with Aaron Rodgers. Sure, but he did enough with Hundley in there to make me and just like you said, go to like two games, a game or two with Hundley in there and like, Oh my God, I got to get him in my starting lineup. And yeah. there's no, who can, if he's playing, he's playing. And well, and another thing I just saw in the, uh, this article recently about, you know, him being upset because Thomas Davis blew him up in, mm. in the last game and gave another concussion. But his toughness is something that I didn't necessarily it snuck up on me, you know, and, and reading this article, it opened my eyes. He was like, I wanted to show cause he had two, two concussions already. And, and, Obviously, remember him getting carted off, but the time before he, his first concussion was just he just left with a concussion. It was no cart and not a lot of drama behind it. But he came back the next week and exploded with like two touchdowns and a big game. And then this this year when he got carted off, the next week I think they might have had ten days rest. He played again and had a big game, yeah. body yardage and a touchdown. He's like, I wanted to show my my teammates that I could come back. I, I'm I'm here. I'm I'm all in. And I thought it was a really cool article. Obviously, we're talking about concussions and. Oh, it's not a good thing to have concussions back to back like that. But his response to that, I'm I'm hoping they shut him. Down. They've already called him out for week 16. I'm obviously week 17. They're out of playoffs. Hopefully he doesn't play anymore this year. Comes back, you know, clear head, no joke intended. Clear head next year and ready to, you know, get into the contract and maybe he's back. Hopefully he comes back to the Packers and continues his development. Yeah. Well, I mean, first first things first is if if. The NFL really wants to be serious about player safety and all that. The fact that, that somebody from the league office didn't call into that game and threw – obviously, I know he's suspended for two games now. It's a repealed to one, I think, right. already. Yep. Which is dumb. Yeah. And Well, that would be fine. That would be fine if you would have just done the right thing off the rip. And thrown and this throw guy him out. out of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was – you could have blown him up from shoulder to hip, no problem. Right. right. You could have cr- – but you leaped forward with your helmet – into his helmet, up at him. Like, come on, man. But he yeah. felt bad about it afterwards. Oh, yeah, I know. He was really shaken up on the sideline. Well, you should have made a better decision. Yeah. You're, you're a yeah. wily veteran who's won the man of the year, I believe. Yo, and, Thomas and Davis is, is a beast. Is, is, I'm not, you know, I know Thomas Davis is a good guy or what all. First but, first play ever to come back from three knee surgeries. First play ever for th- with three uh, uh, MCLs in the, or whatever it is in the same knee. You know, good story behind him. is terrible play, terrible if, decision. If the, again, if the NFL wants to be serious about player safety, Throw that why, guy why? out immediately. Like call in as this tell is all him. happening, like and you, you, you got plenty of time on the field to look at this. Somebody from the league office needs to call down and be like, "Get him out of the game." And I then if you just want to suspend him for another game, then that's fine. I think that kind of attitude's coming, and it'll come next year. I and, think and there's going to be a targeting. Nobody rule could even NFL. argue with it. Yeah, like there's. I agree. You don't. You don't even need a targeting rule in place for that. I like agree. just get him out of the game. I know you're right, but I think they will have a targeting targeting rule coming, and it's going to take care of just like they. And so that puts it in the back of their mind. Hey, right now I can't. And they've tried to do that in college. And it's, 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 well, sometimes it sucks, but it's working. So af- after that uh, short diatribe of the NFL's <laughs> silliness on uh, player safety, um, I, what I wanted to get back to was the Hunley thing of, of how, you know, it kind of opened, I know it opened your eyes, you know, some of... of uh, the toughness fact? No, the fact that, you know, the backup quarterback was in there and, you know, he, he was getting... Devontae was producing. Devontae was producing. Right, it's but, not just Aaron Rodgers. Right. Right. And it's not it's not thing. just Aaron Rodgers and the other guys on the field weren't having the same sort of success or, and, and or getting the same sort of looks. And, you know, you went into a little bit different style of a little bit more traditional style of offense where it was... Yeah, three less, r- red zone less rushes. run the ball. 
and let's yeah. you know we're a little bit more concerned about actual running and and more balance and but I, I thought it was you know if you went and just looked at I think I don't know what I don't have any of that numbers in front of me but if you just looked at the amount of volume that he was getting for, per everybody else on the team that was just focused towards him I'm sure it would it would be him by a landslide yeah and that to me you know I already was a pretty appreciative of what Devonte Adams was doing and then that that to me just really kind of brought it all full circle of, of how good this guy I think really is to be I, in there obviously you know you got a rapport with a guy and and some we see that the backup quarterback yeah. comes in and Picks you're just guy, targeting this guy but on. it was it was nice to see and he was still getting open while while we talked about Blake Bortles last week um of having easy spots to throw it in. Hundley should have also had easy spots to throw it in because of defenses. Nobody's scared of them. You're stacking the box. You're trying to stop the run and so on and so forth. So, you Plus know, they got a dynamic group of wide receivers right. over there. It, yeah. Right. But, but nobody was really scared of Hundley who, by the way, played, you know, every week continued to get better and better yeah. and, 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 Kept and played, them in games. Yeah. And played extremely well. But you know what I, what I saw, in the route tree and, and the things that, that uh, Devontae Adams was doing, not only with Rodgers, but with Hundley, you know, his fantastic feet. He's got, you know, he, he knows how to use his arms to get, you know, uh, hand checking. He keeps the hand checking down. He'll use a swim move. He's got a nice, uh, he'll, he'll bend, he'll bend his routes and, and kind of lean on you with that. He's kind of a possession guy, but he's got a bigger frame. He'll kind of lean on that guy as he's bending that route out. And then boom on his cut, He'll, you know, either cut in or out or, or curl or, or whatever it may be. Um, and it really helps him gain separation on that, that in or out cut. Great little head fake. There's a little subtle, yeah. subtle he's little got, nuances. He's got awesome little jab steps. Like, he, he got Xavier Rhodes a couple of times in that game with a, with a little jab on a, on a curl. But he'll jab you inside. Like, he'll jab you to the inside and, and get that defender to... to to turn his hips a little bit and run that curl. But then when he runs the curl, he runs it to the sideline part of things. Well, I completely agree with all that. And what I like about it is because basically what you're saying is this man's running routes like a veteran. And uh, some of the younger receivers that we see in this league make plays is because they are literally having to be schemed for right. to, to find that spot. And Devontae Adams is running some not fancy routes, some in, some out, some curl, some slants, but he's right. running them with a lean here or a strong jab step, or, you know, here. Right. Or that. He's running them like a veteran. And, and, and like you, and so that helps me cement his value moving forward. The, we, and, and one of the things that I said about Devontae Adams coming into the season is just that we've seen some problems out of Aaron Rodgers staying healthy. And here we went again, another collarbone. Cause that kind of starts to repeat right. itself. Uh, yeah. I Tony Romo and, Devonte Adams did his thing while he was out, so that for me that puts Devonte Adams on a on a stronger uh, foundation moving forward with his dynasty value. And based on his contract, based on we don't know if he's actually going to be with it, but we as we all I think he should be a Packer next year. They should pay him; he's a budding star. But if he's not, and he can live with that, not many people get better. They're, you're not going to go to a better quarterback, you know, spot than than Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, you, you know, you don't go like we said when Brandon Cooks made the move. That's exactly what yeah. we said when Brandon Cooks went from from the Saints to the Patriots. That doesn't happen. Right. Normally, right. you're not going up, and you can't, right. and, and, you or know, at least you know parallel. Yes. Right. Pa parallel with some uh, yeah, another replacement on level eyes you're MVP. Yeah, right. right. You went from MVP. You went from Hall of Famer to Hall of Famer, and that just doesn't happen. So. I th I think what Devontae Adams has put together here with Casey's like he a good explanation of some some veteran route running moves out of a very young player the red zone threat this well you know, then the, the, what what really I think separates him then is is like the physicality of of contested catches and 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 balls in the air he's got really solid body control and and when he when you do get in that in that red zone area I think the route running technician and the physicality of of how he plays and using that big frame of his he's got pretty long arms for his frame. Um, is fantastic. I think that's what really makes him awesome in the red zone. Plus, you have these other wide receivers, and it's obviously pretty tough to double sure. uh, that, yeah. anyone, yeah. double anybody in this. And you know, he also is is obviously a, we're going through all these things of how good of a route runner he is. He's what goes along with that is when it's in zone, you're able to float and and keep floating around in that space. So have to have a feel, right? To have a feel of the game and 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 be able to float in those pockets of openness while the zone's adjusting. He knows kind of how to follow his quarterback and adjust with those zones and 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 keep himself available. Yeah, yeah. When to sit, when not to sit. Oh, I sat. This zone just closed up. Let me slide Let me over move. this way. Right. Exactly. 
Yep. Um, so I, I just think uh, this is a a really solid uh, it's a arsenal good. of 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 uh, moves that he's kind of put together here, and there's there's a lot to really like about Devonte Adams, and and you know obviously he could go nowhere and stay in Green Bay, or he could go to Cleveland, and and obviously that's the you know normally <laughs> sure. worst case scenario for anybody. Um, or it could be in you know 49er land with Jimmy, Jimmy G. He could go to Jimmy and be a savior. Now that Allen, Allen Robbins is going over there. We already <laughs> we don't, we made that mean, deal. You have you have no uh, idea. Niners would rather have Adams. <laughs> you have no idea Maybe. who's going where. Um, right. But I believe Adams is a Bay Area he guy. Is. He is. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see I, how it goes. I but, think I think a lot of people warmed up to Devonte Adams this year. This isn't you know breaking well, news here. But and there isn't there isn't much to warm up to in the fact of that you it's the repeat. Right, you know, right. This is a guy who was highly productive in college, and you know, people were kind of excited on, and then it just the it just went off a cliff, and everybody left him for dead. Yep. And it was, you know, no thanks. And you know, there was in, in 2016, you could have got him in like the 17th round. That's that was that's right? a number we right. dropped. We we got a team. That's a real number that happened. That's a real number that happened. We took him in the 17th round of a dynasty startup last year, and he's one of our best players. 